I start by first congratulating the class of 2015. <laughs> After this two-year journey, for some three or four, we can finally breathe a sigh of relief. But I assure you, the journey does not end here. It is only just the beginning. Sir so Arthur Lewis Community College, named after one of our very own Nobel laureates, as we all know, provided a place where we could not only learn, but a place where we could call home. Comprising, <laughs> comprising of various divisions and specializations, it provided the perfect place to develop the minds and hearts of us students. I remember my first day on campus, as do you all. Driving up through the entrance with my credulous eyes, I watched, <laughs> I watched and admired these strange historic buildings which displayed nothing but a scholarly aura. That specific drive felt like an eternity due to the never-ending speed bumps put in place for the soon-to-be cast of Fast and Furious. <laughs> but we'll get to that eventually. Everyone was dressed in their respective uniforms, wrinkled free shirts and pants with seams that were so sharp they sliced the very air around them. <laughs> it was on that day, that one specific day, almost every single rule and regulation in the school was adhered to perfectly. Too bad we can't say the same for the days that followed. Just kidding, deans. We both know that we were all angels. Our desire to be cool got some of us into trouble. But with these few exceptions, this did not deter from our main goal, which was to learn. Books in hands and bags on our backs, every day was a constant hustle and bustle to get to and from class. With barely any sleep the, sleep the prior night, we still made it on time. One of the most cherished memories will be that of our lecturers. Sir Arthur Lewis Community College has a wide range of very unique and energetic lecturers, all with the same goal, to educate to the best of their abilities. They put the students, they put the students before their own needs and education at the center of every single day of their lives. Without these lecturers, these wise directors of knowledge, we would not be where we are today, or furthermore, who we are today. They molded not only our minds, but also our personalities by teaching us beyond the required curriculum. And for this, these lecturers should be honored. <laughs> Students felt protected under the watchful eyes of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College security. <laughs> Most of the time, that is except on occasions when they attempted to make fashion statements with the latest Ray-Bans. Who says one can't be stylish, even in the strictest of attires? The facility maintenance workers did their fair share in contributing to the overall success of school life. Not only did they ensure that the school grounds were kept pristine, but also they kept us entertained with some of the strangest conversations and interactions. <laughs> I was always amazed at how fast the grass grew around the campus. I don't know if it was only me who noticed, but I swear, every single day, somewhere on the compound, grass was being cut. I'm just saying, these guys were pretty skillful with a weed eater. Not much of us can say the same for ourselves. The campus, as big as it is, made getting to class a challenge. Subjects range from the CE building to the annex, or from the annex to DTEMS. Still to this day, 
I think having a shuttle service on campus may have been a good addition. <laughs> Speaking of which, it was during our time at SALCC, our very own Vin Diesels and Paul Walkers were born. I've never seen so much fuel be consumed by a group of students in just one day. But who am I to judge? Don't worry guys, I won't name any names. I would not want your parents to deprive you of your keys, despite it being theirs to begin with. The campus was not only a place of learning, but a place of euphoria, especially when class was out of session. The constant chitter-chatter every universal hour where everyone attempted to get as up-to-date as possible on the hottest soaps. It amazed me at how much students accomplished in that one hour, but found it so difficult to write their names in a double period. <laughs> but it was during this hour, divisions were no longer divided, but were as one. Apart from the hot spots like downstairs OTW and the various kiosks, a word I could have never pronounced. Nothing compared to the CAF, short for cafeteria. This was the central hub of a very diverse institution, providing its specialties on a daily basis, like its renowned chicken and fries. The CAF satisfied our cravings for both food and entertainment. The CAF was not our only option, though. Everyone remembers the long strolls under the sun, with the destination being either Dave or the lasagna lady both of which provided an eclectic variety of delicacies which satisfied our guilty pleasures. The atmosphere of the school was simply bliss. Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, as some of the parents here knew, not only fostered mental development, but also was a breeding ground, please don't quote me on this, <laughs> which fostered new relationships. Students experience their first taste of love. <laughs> or so they thought. It was impossible to keep up with the unpredictability of students as relationships sought to interchange from makeup to breakup. Then again, we were young. Or should I say, we are young. <laughs> Our time at Safa Lewis Community College now coming to an end does not mean that our memories should too. It made us into who we are today. After having left, some of us are already employed or at universities studying with careers set in motion. But others are lost. Lost as to where it goes from here. The answer to that question is wherever you want it to go. Do not feel ashamed or worried just because every puzzle piece of your life does not fit at this moment, but know that it will in due time. It is better to feel disoriented and confused at this point in your life than to feel that way after having studied for a career that you thought would have been your future. My fellow graduates, with the expectation <laughs> With the expectation of a somewhat uneven expression from parents after saying this, I believe now is the time to make mistakes. I am advising you all to go out and make as many mistakes as you can. <laughs> Within reason, that is. Now, parents, you may be thinking, what is this crazy young man thinking by encouraging our children to make mistakes? I am sorry in advance, moms and dads. But if we don't make our mistakes now, But if we don't make our mistakes now, there will never be another opportune time. After having made our mistakes, then can we learn, build, grow, and succeed. But know this, graduates. 
Success is not about academic abilities, materialistic possessions, or the number of zeros in one's bank account. My definition of success entails striving to be the best you that you can be, and after having reached the top, pulling up those around you as well. What is the point of success if it is at the expense of others? True success occurs when not only you benefit, but those around you do as well. Because believe it or not, these people, lecturers, parents, friends, students, whoever it may be, you need them now more than ever. So now I ask you, fellow graduates, go out and piece the puzzle of your life together ensuring that the finished product not only benefits you as the creator, but also the viewers. Congratulations, class of 2015. Mine was the shortest.